Alright ladies and gentlemen, this is Sports Dom coming back with another video. And the Buffalo Sabres begin their road trip, their four game western road trip on a winning note as they go into Edmonton and defeat the Edmonton Oilers by a score of 4-2. to two. Uh, Now on Thursday night, they head to Calgary to take on the undefeated Calgary Flames. But in this game, Eric Comrie was the MVP in this game uh, as he played back-to-back -back games. Uh, he played against the Florida Panthers. And now he gets his first win of the season against the Edmonton Oilers. And I won't I wouldn't be shocked if he plays again in Calgary. They signed him because they wanted him to be the guy. Uh, and they want Craig Anderson to be the backup. Um so I wouldn't be shocked if Eric Comrie is getting uh a majority of the games, uh like he did the, the last two games. Uh, so, in the first period, at four minutes, Buffalo opened the scoring. It was Rasmus Dahlin, his third of the season, on the power play, assisted by Casey Middlestat, his first, and it's one nothing Buffalo. But then just 23 seconds later, at 4.23, it's Edmonton's Darnell Nurse, his second of the season, assisted by... Leon Dreisaitl, his fifth, and Cody Cece, his first, and after one, it's 1-1 one, one tie. But in the second, at 44 seconds in, it was Buffalo's Tage Thompson, his first of the season, assisted by Jeff Skinner, his first, and it's 2-1 Sabres. And then at 5.15, it was Buffalo's J.J. Paterka, his second of the season, assisted by Vinny Henestrosa, his first, and it's 3-1 Buffalo. And then in the third at 18.27, it was Edmonton's Ryan Nugent Hopkins, his first, assisted by Connor McDavid, his second, and it's 3-2 Sabres, and then the empty netter. At 1955, it was Buffalo's Alex Tuck, his second of the game, or his second of the season, assisted by Dylan Cousins, his second of the season, and it's 4-2 the final. And penalties in the first period at 3:38, it was Buffalo's Jeff Skinner, an unsportsmanlike conduct, two minutes, and at 3:38, it was Edmonton's Brett Kulak. Unsportsmanlike conduct, uh, two minutes. And then at 3.55, it was Edmonton's Ryan Nugent Hopkins, two minutes for slashing. And then at 5.40, it was Buffalo's Peyton Krebs, two minutes for roughing. And then at 16.28, it was Buffalo's Tage Thompson, two minutes for tripping. In the second period at 2.20, it was Edmonton's Warren Vogel, two minutes for roughing. And at 2.20, it was Buffalo's Ilya Labushkin, two minutes for roughing. And at 2.20, Warren Vogel, two minutes for roughing of Edmonton. So he gets the double minor. And then at 8.08, it was Buffalo's Henry Yoki Haru, two minutes for holding the stick. And then at 15.59, it was Edmonton's Ryan McLeod. Two minutes for hooking. And then in the third, at 12.35, it was Edmonton's <laughs> Darnell Nurse. Two minutes for slashing. So, uh, goals, Buffalo 4, Edmonton 2. And the shots, Buffalo 24, Edmonton 48 shots on goal to Buffalo's just 24. Buffalo has to shoot the puck more. You can't win many games only getting 24 shots on goal. But like I said, Eric Comrie stole this game for Buffalo. Block shots, Buffalo 13, Edmonton 11. 
hits Buffalo 16, Edmonton 28. Faceoffs Buffalo 32, Edmonton 40. Power plays Buffalo was one for four on the power play. It's a start, okay? They got a power play goal. It's a start. They went one for four. They need to fix that, and uh, Don Granado will get it fixed, I believe. Edmonton was 0 for 3 on the power play. Penalty minutes. Buffalo 10, Edmonton 12. My three stars uh, in this game uh, are all Buffalo Sabres. So my third star of this game is Alex Tuck. Um, he scored the empty net goal uh, and won it by two. So uh, four to two, the Sabres beat the Oilers. And my second star of this game is Tage Thompson. And he's becoming a fan favorite. So is uh, J.J. Paterka uh, and also Matthias Samuelson. And my first star also for the Buffalo Sabres, goalie number 31, Eric Comrie. He stopped 46 of 48 shots uh, tonight. And their second goal only went in when they had the extra attacker. They pulled their goalie for the extra attacker toward the uh, end of the game. And they pulled it within one, but then Alex Tuck uh, scored the empty netter. And put Edmonton away. So. Buffalo. Improves to. Two and one on the season. Uh, Edmonton I believe. Falls to one and two. And now. We go to Calgary. Uh, on Thursday night. The two and one Buffalo Sabres. Versus the three and oh. Calgary Flames. And that 46 saves was Eric Comrie's career high. So, I think um, with the game he had tonight, I think he should uh, start in Calgary. Uh, and I think that, uh, that they can beat Calgary as well. I know... Calgary made some offseason moves. Uh, they're undefeated right now. Uh, but Buffalo's off to a hot, hot start. They're 2-1. and one. Um, And Calgary, they traded Matthew Kachuk, although they got uh, um, Mackenzie Weger, and they got... Uh, um, I'm not sure if they have Goudreau or not. I think they do have Goudreau. But uh, Buffalo is on a roll. Uh, I think they can win in Calgary. Uh, it's going to be another tough game. Uh, they stole one in Edmonton uh, to start this road trip. Uh, Don Granado's really got these kids playing. Uh, and playing some good hockey. And I think that they can win in Calgary. Uh, Vancouver is going to be another tough test. And then they go to Seattle. Um, if we can go 3-1. and one, Heck, if we can go 4-0 and oh on this road trip. I mean, it's, it's not likely. And I'm not saying they will. But, man, th they're all winnable games. Um, I expected them to win tonight, um, I just, you know, it, it, it was, I knew it was going to be tough, I expected them uh, to shoot the puck more, uh, and they got to shoot the puck more in, in Calgary, uh, to beat the Calgary Flames, and I think that they can, uh, but Calgary is such a tough team, uh, they made some off-season moves. Buffalo made some off-season moves, too. Uh, they signed Eric Comrie. You know, they signed Ilya Labushkin. Uh, and they signed Mat Matias Samuelson to a seven-year contract extension. Uh, so, 
uh, th they're starting to come around and I think that uh, they they'll they're only going to get better as the season goes on. Right now, uh, they they need time to uh, gel with each other. But hey, if Comrie can play the way he played tonight and steal us some games, this is the kind of goaltending we need to make the playoffs. This is the kind of goaltending that we need to make the playoffs. We gotta fix the power play, but Don Granado, I think, can win. Can do that. So if Comrie and Anderson can play the way they played against Ottawa and against Edmonton, they're gonna go far, and they're gonna win a lot of games if they can play like that. So uh, it, it's it was a very fun, very entertaining game, uh, and I look forward. To Thursday night at the Calgary Flames. Guys, comment in the comment section below on what you think. And as always, if you like my videos, like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you don't miss a video. Stay tuned for my Los Angeles Lakers at Golden State Warriors recap. And as always, go Sabres! Let's beat the Flames. And let's go into Vancouver 2-0 and on this road trip, uh, this four-game road trip. Uh, I want to beat Calgary. Uh, it, it's going to be tough. I want to beat Seattle. Uh, they were a new expansion team last year, and Buffalo didn't have much success against them. But I think they will this year. Uh, and I think they will against Vancouver, too. Um, if, we can if we can get the goaltending that played tonight in Calgary, we will win that game. Go Sabres. Let's beat the Calgary Flames. And stay tuned for my Buffalo Sabres at Calgary Flames preview. Go Sabres.